Redbubble is a place for artists, designers and zoos who are just looking for cool products. It is also a place where thousands of people have made their living by selling art. And it is also one of the reasons why many people are seeing videos on YouTube that promise that you can make $100 per day or $1000 per month on Redbubble. In this video, I would like to think about whether this is even possible to make such a huge amount of money on this POD platform. This is also because I get a lot of similar questions on this channel. And I would like to think a little bit about what you can expect from Redbubble and what kind of reality you need to prepare for. It is not uncommon for people to think that they can make a lot of money on the internet, but the reality is quite different. While it's easy to get started with Redbubble, it's not the easiest marketplace to make a living from selling your designs. But still, many people have been using Redbubble to make a profit. In fact, according to me, there are two main types of people who are selling on Redbubble, designers and artists. In my opinion, there is a difference between these two groups of people. An artist is a person who is designing their own art. This person has a special skill set that allows him to create unique art that nobody else can. If you are such a person, then you are lucky, because you belong to the group of people who can definitely make a living on Redbubble. However, I think Redbubble is a wrong platform for you. I will try to explain later why I think so. Now I would like to back to explain who the designer is. A designer is someone who is taking pieces of art and creating a designs from them. For example, this person is taking a few illustrations from Creative Fabrica and then creates an original design from it. To be honest, I'm such a person. I don't have a skill set to draw my own art, so I'm using publicly found elements to make my designs. Most of the people on Redbubble right now are these designers, and there is nothing wrong with it. However, to be a successful designer on this POD platform and make hundreds of dollars per month, you have to upload hundreds or thousands of designs. The math here is simple. While it is not true for everyone, the more designs you upload on Redbubble, the more chances you have to get sales. There is something called the 80-20 rule, and this rule is valid not only for print-on-demand, when I look at the rule from the perspective of a designer, then this rule means that 80% of your sales will also come from 20% of your designs. So even if you have thousands of designs available on Redbubble, most of your sales will come from a few dozens of your designs. It is sad fact, but it's true. So the question is, as a designer, what should you expect from Redbubble? The reality is, if you have a few designs and your artwork is below average, then you should expect to get zero to few sales per month. In my opinion, a lot of the designers are in the category of beginners, where they are still learning to find niches with low competition. They are just learning the CEO game and improving their designing skills. Then there is a group of designers who already have uploaded hundreds or thousands of designs to Redbubble. These people have decent skills when it comes to artwork and they know how to find low competitive niches. In this case, you can expect 10, 20 or even 50 sales per month. If you belong to this group, then it is possible to make $100 per month and more. But you cannot expect to earn $1,000 from Redbubble alone. The last group of designers that are definitely killing it on Redbubble and are making hundreds of dollars per month are designers that are dominating competitive niches. If you are on the first page on Redbubble for funny cat search term, then you are making sales every day. So if you are one of these people, then congratulations to you. I'm not this person. I belong to a group of people who are making tens of sales per month on Redbubble. Usually once or twice a month, I hit $100 per day, but mostly in November and December. And I don't think I can ever make $1,000 per month on Redbubble. 
but it doesn't mean I can make it elsewhere. This is one important thing you should understand. Redbubble is not the best place where you can make money with print-on-demand. Most people who are making a living with print-on-demand businesses are using Etsy, Amazon or are running their own Shopify shop. In these places, you have more audience, more control over your listings and more chances to make money. It is definitely worth considering getting into these marketplaces. However, the best thing you can do if you want to make more money from print on demand is to use multiple marketplaces to sell your designs. Redbubble is not the only free POD platform. There is the public Spreadshirt, Zazzle, Society6, Merch by Amazon and more. And the cool thing is that you can use the same design from Redbubble and upload it on these platforms. This way you can get more chances to make sales. And so you can definitely make hundreds or even thousands of dollars per month from your designs. So the answer to the main question of this video is yes, you can make $1,000 per month selling your designs, but not when you are using Redbubble only. If you will diversify and use multiple platforms to sell your art, then you can expect high earnings. I'm always recommending using Redbubble as a starting point to learn about the POD business and then move on to Etsy or Amazon to get more exposure for your designs. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any question, please use the comment section below the video.